Tana Mojo admits to fake wedding and scams her fans. Jake Paul and Tana Mojo wedding scam. Drama alert. Fans demand. Jake and Tana's with wedding is a scam. Over. Tana just said her marriage to Jake is chaos. Of Tana and Jake Jake's and Tana wedding. scam me out of 1,000 plus dollars. Tana Mojo and Jake Tana Mojo and Jake Paul confirm fake wedding. Going back to the drama I see. What is up everybody, how are you all doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day and welcome to Just Saying channel. Not gonna lie to you lot, I've been fucking slacking off. I'm basically one break away from having a road to show upload schedule. And you know how it is. With this schedule, you have no views, no money and no subs. My new car and yeah, let's, this here, it's, it's a Lamborghini. See you in six months, I guess. <laughs> First of all, this right here is not a new stylistic choice. It's just to hide the fact that I haven't been to the barbers like for ages. What's under that? It's a fucking madness, to be honest with you. Like, look at this. <laughs> After a few skits, a mugbang, a ready video that fucking flopped, it's time to get myself back to my roots, you know? Good old school drama video. And by old school, I mean like from, I don't know, four videos ago. And I know I promised you a lot to be consistent this time, but uh, let's just say it didn't go as planned. Allow it, okay? I'm gonna actually try this time, you know, speak it into existence. <laughs> Okay, but basically, I cannot be bothered with making a video about just one drama. I mean, it's long. Because, quite frankly, I just don't give enough of a fuck. So what I'm gonna do instead is making a mini-series about YouTube drama. I'm gonna do a video once every week or two, basically recapping what happened on YouTube and in the world, basically. You know, it's like Pew News meeting this week on the internet and forming it into even bigger shithousery. Don't really have a name for the show yet, but let's name it The Untitled Show. I'm fucking class. <laughs> if you have any other idea, leave a comment with the suggestion what this show should be called. And you know what? While you're over there, be sure to subscribe because we're trying to hit 100 subscribers before the end of the summer. Also click the like button, hit the notification bell, and you know, be like, uh, subscribe, please. So, let's go. Roll the intro. What? What do you mean we don't have a budget for an intro? What? We have zero in budget? I oh, fuck it. I'll make one myself. Approximately 10 hours later. Story number one is gonna be about the most successful YouTube sporting event in history the Challenger Games. First ever Challenger Games 2019 here in Long Beach, California. Fans, you guys ready to have a good time today? You guys ready to meet your Challenger Games athletes? Let's go, you Challenger Game athletes! <laughs> what a fucking shit show. I mean, honestly, this event was more dead than my nun, and the crowd was more non existent than my sex life, man. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. How can you have so many famous YouTubers make the event in Hollywood in LA, California and still didn't even sell the half of the tickets available? Can we just make a quick flashback to the time when Logan was smoking off JJ for not selling out a venue during his tour? Karma is a motherfucking Let's also remember that this man said he was the fastest entertainer in the world. He has put on a line 100k because he was so sure he was gonna win it and uh, what happened? 
And fast out the gate, looks like Logan. Oh, we have a tumbler. Fast out the gate, looks like Logan. Oh, we have a tumbler. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not good. I don't know, this is it for me, I think. I mean, but to be honest, he actually did tore his hamstring. So I can't really make fun of him for not winning. I mean, fucking hell. Like, man's turning into a fucking eggplant at the moment. I mean, we have to give credit where credit's due, right? The whole event was made for charity. Uh, that is good. <laughs> it was to support Special Olympics, which is actually a really cool idea. So I guess... G good job. I mean, it's so difficult to compliment the polls. It's unreal. No, honestly, great job. I mean, k kinda great job. <laughs> I mean, they did get 16k in donations, but it's not that great when we take into consideration the fact that they spent like 20 times more to organize the event. The charity aspect of it was saved by the winners because every winner was representing some type of a charity. So basically all the winnings are still going to charity, which is actually kind of great. But the fact that the main charity of the event got less than 20k, I mean, the Special Olympics got shaked. I gotta be honest, it was a great idea, great initiative, but shit execution. But well, let's talk about the highlights of the event. I mean, we had Jake Paul almost crying after he lost the race. If you're not first, you're last, baby. Sorry, mom. And the complete moron admitted on the air that he tried to bribe the eventual winner of the event just to let him win. Any words for destroying? Well, I offered him $20,000 to uh, lose the race and he didn't take it, so he's a good guy. So congrats, destroying you're a good kid. <laughs> We're fucking melon, man. I mean, the person who stole the show was definitely Shannon the Cannon Bricks, who was meant to interview winners of each event, Shannon Bricks. Man who was hit in the head so many times during his days as a heavyweight champion of the world that he's now able to say only three words. Let's go. Let's go champ. 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 Another highlight of the event was Mike on the commentary. Biggest shit house of them all. Just throwing sexism and stupid comments left and right like he's trying to feed some pigeons with them. The commentary of the event was actually atrocious. I mean, I'm here for the trash. What a beautiful stadium, Thomas. Now, who do you like in this heat? I follow a lot of these girls on Instagram. Um, not, not really too sure about their running skills. Um, I don't really follow them for that reason. And so they're not, you know, not normally. Yep. And uh, I think we're moving over to someone else. That's Ayla Woodruff we're looking at, guys. Incredible. <laughs> oh, that's not Summer Rae, by the way. But what if she just falls on her face? Oh. You know, and, and such a beautiful face, great eyes. Logan said afterwards that Mike is the best commentator on YouTube. Are you okay? Best commentator? I can think about one person who is like significantly better. But honestly, the whole event was a great show. It was very competitive, especially the final of the 100 meter race. I mean, look how close everybody is. Like, oh, oh, whoa. <clears throat> At least it was competitive for the second place. <laughs> okay, so this lap is called Destroying. You might think this YouTuber is fucking rapid, you know? Uh, well, you are wrong. He's actually not a YouTuber. I mean, he has a YouTube channel, right? He's a professional football player. Like, how is this allowed? A professional athlete competing in a race with people who play games for a living. Great. That's definitely fair. I mean, you know what? Usain Bolt has a YouTube channel as well. Maybe he should compete next year. I cannot wait to see Vixta123 competing with Usain Bolt on a track. Madness. I mean, obviously, destroying one fair and square. Like, there's no doubt about it, right? But it's kind of unfair to make him compete against just YouTubers and other entertainers. Like, you know what I'm saying? But if we play like that, then, then it's fine. I guess in the next YouTube boxing fight, we're gonna have Jake Paul against Tyson fucking Fury. You see how ridiculous that is. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. This whole event was a great idea, but because of the execution, it was a shit show. And talking about shit, Boris Johnson is the new prime minister of the UK. I don't know why I decided for this to be my segue, but I guess here we are. Never in a million years would I think Boris Johnson would be a prime minister 
of the UK. It's kind of mad. I mean, honestly, I know this man only from three things, right? Uh, Brexit, being a mayor of London, and finishing off a 10-year-old. That sounded mad. <laughs> First, Donald Trump. Now Boris Johnson. Basically, the world politics are having a bad hair day. I mean, literally, with the same things, dude. Being embarrassed, no desire to go outside, and basically just a desire to crawl into a ditch and die. And before you start commenting like, oh, laptop getting mad again, I actually don't hate these people. It's just fucking funny to me, you know. <laughs> Next quick story of the past few weeks is, uh, I mean, it's not really a story, but I just wanted to share with you something special. Trisha Paytas, Singing Life. <laughs> Yep, I, I lost hearing in my right ear right now, fucking hell. And I probably lost like 200 brain cells. It's a hard listen, it's a hard listen. Basically, that kids is what happens when you have smashing face into a pizza. Why did, <laughs> why did I say it like that? Into a pizza. <laughs> that is what happens when you have smashing your face into a pizza. As your job description, basically stay in school. Into a pizza. <laughs> what is wrong with me? <laughs> like... And it's now time for a commercial break. Today's episode of the Untitled Show is sponsored by... Nobody. And we're back. Next story of today. Fortnite, the hottest game of 2018, which is now being overtaken by, by Minecraft. How? The, like, don't fucking ask me. So, there was a Fortnite World Cup. And a man called Boga just won himself three million bucks. Mud! That is the biggest individual prize award in the history of esports. And the crazy part is that this guy is just 16 years old. Ladies and gentlemen, this cup is yours one more time. Your world champion, Boga! Imagine being a multi-millionaire at the age of 16 for playing video games. We're living in the best time at 10 years. This is actually amazing. I, I love it. I fucking love it. I'm actually a huge supporter of esports. And the fact that someone won free mail is mad. Like, my G. My G. You know. <laughs> he is officially the best, the most epic gamer of them all. He can now dab on the haters whenever he wants. He's the only person allowed to know. Unfortunately, his fun was a bit spoiled because right after he won all of this, he got hacked on Twitter. <laughs> uh, let's be honest, man is loaded now. He can buy himself a new Twitter account. Fuck it. He can buy himself a new platform. <laughs> Fuck it. Like He can buy himself a new Twitter. <laughs> Okay, but before we get to the last story of the day, I want to start something new. Obviously, we're gonna talk a lot of shit about other YouTubers, you know? <laughs> Definitely not to be mean or anything like that, just to make people laugh and make you guys more entertained. So I don't want this show to be just all negative, you know what I'm saying? I just want this show to be a little bit more positive. But we're still gonna mock a lot of YouTubers off. <laughs> like, that's definitely gonna happen. <laughs> but I want, you know, to balance the karma out. On every episode of this series, I'm gonna choose one video that I actually really liked from last week. Just so we could spread a love around this platform, you know? Let's call it YouTube Recommended Section. <laughs> I'm fucking great at titles. So this episode's recommendation is giving away free ice cream from a custom childish ice cream van from the TGF Bro. Three, two, 
<laughs> Be sure to check out this video and also subscribe while you're over there. And yeah, I know there are huge YouTubers, so it's not like I'm helping them out. I just want to share with you guys something I genuinely enjoy and, you know, as I said, spreading the love around the platform. Also, if you have any suggestions, what should I put in this section in the next video, uh, please leave a comment below. I want to include more like small YouTubers. So if you have any in your mind, then yeah, I want to spread some love to other creators. Speaking of love, it's time for our last story of the day. Probably the biggest shit houseery of them all. I'm talking about Jake Paul and Tana Mojo's wedding. I mean, this shit is so atrocious. We have to start from before the wedding was actually happening. On the big day, Tana tweeted, update, Riley Raid's tits were out on the jet. We almost crashed. My assistant is trying to serve Lil Mosey tequila as a flight attendant. I just wrote Jake in front of his mom. The flight attendant is a bridesmaid now. Family channels are vlogging the front row. Can we just acknowledge how fucked up this is? Quote, I just wrote Jake in front of his mom and there was a porn star having her tits out in a jet. I mean, <clears throat> not that there's anything wrong with that. I'm a man, I like tits. But his mom was on a plane and all of this was happening. Fucking hell, that's, that's low-key pathological. No, 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 it's high-key pathological. What is wrong with these people? How is that that the people with the youngest audience are the biggest cunts of them all? Like, seriously, how? So someone explain to me how. I mean, honestly, I feel bad for the mom. Okay, but let's talk about all the things that are actually wrong <laughs> with this wedding. First of all, it was on pay-per-view. The wedding was on the pay-per-view. The wedding was on the pay-per-view. If you wanted to watch it live, you had to pay. And I kid you not, 50 fucking bucks. Now, I can clearly remember that I paid less than 10 quid to watch KSI versus Logan fight. So how is this a 50? Think about what's important there. If you are willing to pay this kind of money to watch fake wedding of Tana Mongoloid and Logan Paul's less talented brother, I mean, you kinda deserve to lose money. You kinda deserve to get scammed. The whole $50 stream was recorded in a joke of a quality, <laughs> like, pro probably recorded with a phone. There was at least three pixels in there. Yeah, I'm sure. And the high definition of 144p. And <laughs> That's not all. There wasn't even any sound during the stream for the long time. Now that is a pure form of shithousery. It's like you would give me a tenner to bake you a delicious pie, but then it turns out it's actually a fish pie. I'm sticking my dick in it. And you know what? Afterwards, I'm just gonna slap you with that pie. This is the level of shithousery we're talking about right now. Then there was a fight at the wedding. Now pronounced by the power vested in me, oh. you may kiss the bride. Imagine the chances of that, a fight at the wedding at the altar. It doesn't happen often, innit? Definitely, it wasn't like it was staged for the drama. No, Jake wouldn't do that. What a actual no. Like, imagine doing that. Imagine staging a fight at your wedding. I mean, it was fake wedding, but still. <laughs> it's like they're playing a limbo of self-respect. How low can I go? And also, 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 can we talk about the fight that just like three years ago, Jake was on Disney Channel. <laughs> This Muppet is supposed to be an actor. I mean, look at him right there. Ooh, watch out. We're gonna bat us here. Yeah, that anger really convinced me. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, my left slipper has more acting talent than him. But honestly, there is no shame in that. He's a talented bastard. No. Feelings, you know it to be true. The worst thing about this wedding is 
that it's not even real. I mean, I know it's not a revelation to any of you, but there are kids actually believing it's true. And how do I know it's fake? Well, uh, Tana said it. And then Jake and Tana admitted it on her MTV show where uh, they said this. Everyone wants to know if Jana is real. And so we're just kind of playing it up for the effing people because at the end of the day, we're internet trolls. Good troll. She said, they are just two biggest trolls. Well, no. Trolls are joking with people, you know, posting memes, like fucking with people, but just a bit. You know, it's all jokes. Being sarcastic, winding people up. Internet trolls do not pretend in front of their young, impressionable fans that they are in love, and they are getting married, just so they would get them to pay 50 bucks to witness this. It's not being a troll, it's called being a scam artist. But honestly, with these two, the artist part is a bit of a stretch. Like, this should not be legal. I'm honestly fucking done with this fake shit. Like, I really don't mind if there's a bit of fakeness here and there every once in a while, because, like, everybody does that. I get it, right? But if you are fake, if everything you do is fake, if everything about your channel is fake, and you're trying to tell me it's real, you just insulted my intelligence, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm not having that. But to be honest, I kind of feel bad for those people. I mean, it's kind of sad because if you fake everything about you, if you fake your life, your YouTube channel, uh, what you're doing, your personality, then you are just admitting that you, as a person, you are not that interesting at all. Just saying. Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help, I don't need opinions, so don't waste my time then. I just been living online, my city don't show me no love and that's fine. Fuck local radio stations, I got more plays than all of these rappers combined. I'm going, I'm going again, I've been going in, I'm fed up with so many things. I gotta just let it all out, I'm talking about the shit they've been talking about.